when we looked at the concave uh, mirror that for the simplest case this is the first thing we looked we looked at both uh, the cases where we had real and virtual images now though some students definitely get confused on these images that what is a real image and what is a virtual image so we will just uh, go through this topic separately and understand the difference between a real and a virtual image so here this is our uh, concave mirror okay so this is the mirror i did not draw the lines here but essentially this is what it is it is a mirror and the light rays are coming from my object they are getting reflected according to laws of reflection and i'll get the image here okay now these light rays if you notice in the case of both of this okay the convex lens and the concave mirror convex lens and concave mirror in both of these cases the light rays they naturally converge which means that they naturally meet at a point they just the actual photons these are real photons emitted by the object they traverse this distance and they physically meet with collide with each other intersect with each other really and that is where we get a real image so in both of these cases we are getting a real image so that is the definition of the a uh, real image whenever we draw a real image we always draw these these rays as solid so when the rays they actually converge at a point when the photons they actually meet and they collide with each other physically then those rays are drawn solid okay so whenever we draw the, the rays as solid it means that i am making a real image now let us look at virtual image and these things will become even more clear okay so this is a concave lens okay because there is a cave here so this is a concave lens and a convex mirror okay so now we have interchanged the lens and the mirror and now let us see what happens if i place an object in both of these cases the rays the real photons in the case of the concave lens they diverge okay the real photons are going like this they are just diverging they are not meeting really they they will not be able to meet they they, they will not physically collide with each other they'll just go away from each other same thing happens in the case of our convex mirror as well the real photons they diverge okay but but okay but if we retrace the path of this divergence back using these dotted lines we get a point of intersection and this is where virtual images are formed so virtual images are formed when the photons they do not really meet but this is the point if 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 i were to uh, if i were to actually understand uh, capture this uh, uh, this image using my eye then this is where i would perceive the photons to be coming from okay given if i just ignore this lens okay if this lens is uh, there is it has been so um, well cleaned and everything okay because like like similar to this lens that i have put here in my spec specs it has been cleaned thoroughly and i cannot detect this lens at all okay that i i cannot really detect it and if i were to uh, see using my eye then this is where i would perceive the light rays are coming from that is not the real path of the photons though the real path of the photons is something that they have taken which is diverged but if if i completely ignore the lens i am not able to see it then this is where the point at which i will feel that the that the light rays are emanating from is the point where virtual image is formed okay so virtual images are just our perception we just feel that the photons are emanating from that point whereas the photons did not emanate from this that this point actually but they emanated from this point and then they using the lens they just they they actually diverged okay they actually never collided they never actually met and formed a real image but this is where if i retrace the path of the light rays this is where retrace back or retrace front okay if i retrace these um a path of the light rays this is where i will feel as an observer who has an eye okay i is an instrument this is where i will feel the photons are coming from and this is where the virtual image will be felt by me same thing is happening here in the case of our convex mirror here also actually the photons are diverged they are not really meeting but if an observer with an eye 
if we were to actually observe uh, this image if we were to actually observe then they would they, they see they would feel that the, these photons are being emanated from a location here okay and and let's say that they were not able to even perceive that the mirror is there then they would be able to see that the the photons are actually being emanated from this point and the point how do we obtain it we obtain it by retracing the light rays the real right light rays back to a uh, origin to a, a virtual origin a point and this is where the observer would feel the light rays are originating from but these are virtual right light rays and this is a virtual uh, image okay it's a virtual light rays thrown off by the uh, virtual image okay and why is the image virtual because the real photons they did not meet i just feel that the photons are meeting here when i am observing it i am just uh, uh, feeling that the photons are emanating from that uh, that point whereas there is nothing at that point so this is a virtual image again okay and the virtual image means that i my actual light rays they just went they just diverged i am retracing back using dotted lines and i found a virtual point of intersection okay this is where uh, the observer would perceive the image to be okay so now hopefully virtual image and real image their difference is clear how i can see the virtual image see the thing is because the real light rays they just diverged these photons the real photons which are emanating can never be collected i i don't really have an instrument which can collect there is no point in this entire uh, entire figure where i can collect these real photons it is impossible because they after the lens they just diverged they just went um, away from each other so there is no single point at which all of them can be collected that is for sure okay so how i can actually collect these these points then i can never if i just place a screen here then uh, this these photons would strike here these photons would strike here and i would not get a clear image 100% right i just see some flashes of light here and there but that image would not be formed because uh, the photons have diverged they have just gone in different directions so that is not the the right way to focus the image in the case of this divergence when this divergence is happening how i can do it is i can put another lens here okay and this would have to be a converging lens which would convert these light rays back and then give me an image okay the same thing here i can put a converging lens okay and these light rays they would fall on this lens and they would converge back the really the photons okay the real photons okay these are real photons this is not dotted lines they are solid lines because of this converging lens these light rays i can really converge them the real photons i can converge them towards a point and then get some kind of an image here and that is the difference between virtual and real image whereas the real image can be directly taken on a sheet of paper on a screen real images i can directly just i just need to uh, put a sheet of paper right here or a screen right here and i would get an uh, at an image directly on a, on the sheet of paper on a screen right here in the case of virtual images that is not a possible because the photons are not coming to a point they are not converging to a point but in that case what do i have to do i have to put more lenses more instruments okay into the uh, path of these light rays the real photons to make them converge at a point okay so virtual images they can only be uh, taken on a screen by using more appliances by using more lenses they cannot directly be taken on a screen okay so that is the difference and one such lens one such instrument is our eye that is why both the real and virtual images they can be observed by the eye why because the eye has a converging lens right here so this is a converging lens so even though these light rays okay notice the real light rays coming from the top of this candle they have diverged they have going in different directions they have diverged but the converging lens of my eye actually pulls those rays back together and i get an image on the retina 
so this is how it has been put in all the books in the virtual images they can be directly observed by the eye why because eye has a converging lens but the virtual images cannot directly be taken on a uh, screen they cannot directly be projected on a screen so hopefully things are very very clear do not get confused when someone says that the virtual images how is it possible that they, they can be seen by eye but not on the screen the reason is now you know that eye has a converging uh, lens and because of that the virtual images when when it they, the rays even after divergence they pass to this converging uh, lens uh, they are brought together in the eye and the image is formed on the retina whereas the same thing is not possible if i were to put directly a screen here instead of eye if i had were to directly put a screen i would not be able to converge uh, these uh, these rays okay so this is a very very uh, uh, sort of tricky thing in which on which questions are asked now and again in the exam so fully it is uh, clear for you thank you